tutorial, we're going to learn how to create your own Photoshop templates. Um, so this is going to be a super fun tutorial going over how to create your own template. This can be for print, uh, it can be for uh, social media, for blogs, you can create a blog board. The best part about this tutorial is that you can save it when you're done so that you can use these in the future. Uh, and just take your images and drop it into your template and you're good to go. So super simple to use and super simple and fun to make. <laughs> so let's get started. We need to open up our document. And we'll be creating a document for print uh, in this particular tutorial. Again, you can apply this to anything, uh, whether it be print or web-based. So I have Photoshop open at my top menu bar. I'm going to click on File and select New at the top. We'll just name this Pretty Template. Okay, so again, I'm creating my document for print. So I have it the both the width and the height set for inches. I can change that to pixels if I was working uh, for web, on a document for web rather. And I'm going to keep this document size at 11 for the width and 14 inches for the height. Keep in mind, as far as resolution, when you're creating something for print, you do ideally want to have 300 pixels per inch. If this is uh, for web, between 72 and 160. Uh, 50 pixels is acceptable. I would say 72 for social media and 150 for your website. Um, but we're going to keep that at 300. Background contents will be white. Press OK. And here we go. This is our document that we'll be working with. Notice that you can see uh, a ruler here on the top and left hand corners of Photoshop. Now, if you don't see that in Photoshop right now, go to the top of your screen in your menu bar and select View. Make sure you have a check mark next to Rulers, okay? And you'll see that ruler appear. Obviously, if you want it to go to go away later on, you'll just unclick uh, or uncheck mark Rulers, okay? So what we have to do here is create different shapes on our template that we want to use when dropping an image onto the template. Okay, so let me show you how that works. In Photoshop, you do want to work on separate layers. So here in my layers panel, I'm going to go down to the bottom and click on the new layer icon. You'll see it's a little square with a folded up corner here in the, on the bottom left hand corner. Okay, so here's our new layer. This layer is completely empty. What we have to do is create something on that layer uh, and this will be a shape that we can just place our image into and move it around. Okay, so I have my marquee tool selected. Now if you just click in your tools panel, right click, you'll be able to uh, select different shapes. I have my rectangular marquee tool selected and I'm going to use my ruler to help guide me here. I'm going to make this about five and a half inches in width and five inches uh, tall. So you're going to end up going up and down and back and forth until you have just the right size. That looks about right. So my marquee tool, you can see the little marching ants going along the uh, edges here. What we want to do at this point in time is fill in our shape. To do that, I'm going to go up to the top menu bar, select Edit, Fill. Any color will do. I am going to select a nice pretty blue and press OK. Now we can either just click to make our selection, our little marching ants go away, or in the menu bar, click on select and deselect. There we go. So every new shape that you make, you will want to make a new layer. So I just clicked on the same icon down here at the bottom of the layers panel. Um, so I'm just going to click right next to our square and create another square identical to the first. I didn't get that one exactly how I had wanted. 
Let's try that again. Okay, that looks pretty good. And you can always resize that later on if it's not um, quite the shape or size that you had wanted. Um, so again, edit here in our top menu bar, fill, color. Okay, and now we have our blue filled shape. Select and deselect. So I notice this one is a little bit longer than the first one. I can select my move tool uh, with this layer still selected and just move that up a little bit and press enter or return. And now we have two identical squares. So now I can create a new layer. Um, select my marquee tool. We'll make this one a nice uh, large rectangle in the middle. Okay. Uh, again, edit, fill. We're going to fill that with color. Up at the top, select and deselect. So see, this is going pretty fast here and you can create different shapes. New layer. This time I'm going to create three squares at the bottom. However, I'm going to multiply or duplicate my first square just to make it a little bit easier on myself. Oh, let's see here. And I can resize these if I find that they don't fit just right in my uh, panel. Okay. Again, we're going to go to edit. Oh, not stroke. Click cancel, edit, fill, color, okay, and select, deselect. Now if you just want to make things easier on yourself and duplicate a layer if you need more than one, grab that layer and just drop it on the new layer icon and it will automatically be duplicated. I'm going to click on my move tool directly above the marquee, my tools panel. I'm just going to grab it and bring it over here to the right. Now I'm going to duplicate that. You can also go to layer, duplicate layer. Okay. And I think these are just, didn't measure that up quite right. So I'm gonna click on each of these layers and just drag them over. Make them a bit larger. I'll just take a moment. And the original layer. Okay, so that's looking pretty nice. I really like uh, the overall layout here. The whole point of making our own templates is being able to reuse these and easily just place our images into each of the shapes. Now you will want to click on the layer that you want your image to be applied to. So if I want my image to appear in this top left hand um, shape, I'm going to click on that particular layer. Next, I'm going to go to file in the menu bar and select place or place embedded, depending on which version of Photoshop you have. So I've navigated to where I have my images saved on my computer that I want to apply in the template. I'm going to click on that image and press place. It'll look a little weird at the beginning, and that's okay. Just press enter or return. Now the important part is going to layer, create clipping mask. Okay, now keep in mind I still have my move tool selected. Now I can just click and drag my image and it will only be applied to that particular square. There's no additional um, steps that you need to take to make sure that everything's lining up perfectly or that you have a perfect crop. Just click, drag and resize and you're good to go. Super, super simple. Now moving on to the next square, I'll click layer two. Notice how the square is selected. And I'll again go to File, Place, or Place Embedded. Select my picture. So let's go ahead and do this one more time, um, just so that really uh, makes sense. Place. 
I'm just going to hit enter or return. Layer, create clipping mask. Oops. I'm not sure if I actually clicked on that here. There we go. Okay. So now I can resize. This is quite large at the moment. Now notice I'm still keeping the same proportions. I'm shift clicking. So I'm holding down shift while resizing. So I think that's really important as well. So that looks really nice. I love the way this is turning out and you can create an unlimited amount of templates and really make this work for you and reuse them as many times as needed. You'll want to save this as a PSD file so all of your layers are included in your uh, template. Okay, now real quick guys, I'm gonna show you one more thing that I think is just kind of neat. So we're going to create a document here and now I have shown you how to use the marquee tool. I really just want to show you how super simple it is to create different designs. So I'm going to select my brush tool, bring black to the foreground color. Guys, this is super quick. It's not supposed to um, you know, be the prettiest shape that I'm creating. But again, I have my brush tool selected in my tools panel. And the opacity is only at 44%. I'm going to bring that up. Okay. I would change the settings on my brush a little bit there. But again, this is a super quick tutorial and I just want to show you how fun it can be to create your own template. So now I'm going to go to File, uh, Place, or Place Embedded. And I'm just clicking on random photos from this recent session here. Place, I'm going to press Enter, Layer, and Create Clipping Mask. Now I'm gonna have to resize this to really be applied to the, this odd looking shape that I had just created. But notice how that's just applying to the color or the black that I had applied to this particular document that I have open. This is super simple, the sky's the limit. I hope you guys have tons of fun creating your own stuff and enjoy.